As always, thin is in, but being thin doesn't mean you're healthy. Not all the time. More and more doctors are finding women who look good on the outside, but are not well on the inside. Elise Coulter has our special health investigation tonight and explains just how dangerous the condition can be. Elise. Jack and Deborah, it's not something that you may have even heard about, but it certainly is common. It's called skinny fat. And while you think thin is healthy, well, that's not always the case. And in pure cardio. It's burned into our brains. Thin is healthy. You're supposed to be a certain size from top to middle to bottom. I would automatically think that skinny equals healthy. But what you see isn't always what you get. We're seeing people present with the same type of issues like diabetes and hypertension and high cholesterol numbers that you would typically see in someone that was overweight, but we're seeing it in these normal weight individuals. Barb Emmerich is a nurse coordinator at Kettering Medical Center. She says medically it's a condition called metabolically obese normal weight, and more people have it than you think. It is pretty common. They say that one in four um, people that are skinny fat, or that are diagnosed with diabetes, are the skinny fat type of profile. So we had two women come in to be tested to see just how healthy they are. Both are thin and seem to be in good health. It measures the bioimpedance of your cells. They tested their height, weight, blood pressure. Feel it squeeze your arm. And took a sample of their blood. Okay, Marcy, with the little stick. A week later, and the results are in. Out of your cholesterol profile, there was one number that was a little bit on the low side. Okay. Not hugely, but a little bit. Marcy Wisner's good cholesterol number isn't where she was so, hoping it would be. The older I get, the more of a concern it will be. And, you know, my family is all on medication for it. And it's something that I don't. I want to change now, so I don't have to worry about it later. But overall, Wisner is a healthy 22-year-old woman. Jessica Howitt also got her results. We also checked vitamin D, <clears throat> which is linked to some high blood pressure, diabetes, and heart disease, and yours is low. While her vitamin D intake is lower than normal, overall, Howitt is a healthy 26-year-old woman. Your total cholesterol is 129, which is excellent. Every now and then you do eat that fast food or that fried food or those french fries, and you don't ever know how immediate like the results are of eating fried foods. It paid off for Howitt and Wisner, but medical professionals still need to be skeptical, even when their patients look healthy. If they're underactive, they may not have much muscle. They may be carrying a lot of, of body fat, regardless of what their body mass index is. To fight it off, eat fruits and vegetables and exercise for at least 150 minutes a week. If you do that, your hard work will be rewarded, just like it was for Howitt and Wisner. Eating healthy and being active and watching what I eat and watching the fat intake that I have like actually really does pay off in the long run. Now, those at Kettering Medical Center blame this on what's called visceral fat. So what exactly does that mean? This sandwich is like your body. Basically, the visceral fat is this layer, bottom layer of bread here. This meat, this deli meat is your muscle. This here is your layer of skin. And it's this bottom layer of visceral fat that causes the problem and could dramatically affect your health.